going to show you today is how to get the kit into the car and if you need to get access to the spare tyre. In this um, car I have a Gen 2 Prius but I actually have a Generation 3 kit in there. The configuration is exactly the same just the mounting box is different so that I can show you how the Gen 3 Prius also fits into the car. Um, what, I what I keep in the car is a small toolbox. Uh, you need uh, to get the kit out you'll need a 10 millimeter and a 14 millimeter. Um, keep a ratchet. To get down the side, you're going to need a small extender. Um, I'll show you this in a second. Okay. The kit's all under here. Okay, to open the kit, there are two screws on holding the lid down, one on this side here and one on this side here. So use the 10, get those off. Okay, the other one's already off, um, so you don't need to take that one off. And then in the Gen 3, the lid comes straight off. The difference between the Gen 2 and the Gen 3 is this space here. Um, you need this space so that you have access to the, the safety plug. In the Gen 3, the safety plug is here, and you pull it this way and then pull it out. In the Gen 2, the electronic safety plug is here. So the car's off. Whenever you're working on the electronics back here, it's a good idea to take the safety plug out first. So you lift it up in the Gen 2, slide it down, and that's actually it off, but they do say to pull it out as well. So that's out now, but I'll just leave it lying in there. Okay, so that's out. So there's no power in the, in the high voltage cable that runs to the, the kit. So that's all off, so next I'll unscrew the kit, unbolt the kit, with a 14, These ones have small springs on them to help them keep tension so that the, the bolts don't come loose. Okay, um, I've removed the other bolt. There's just one more on this side. Next thing you want to do, um, again I've removed most of the bolts that hold the battery cover. To lift the kit out it's quite heavy so we need to take the batteries out. The batteries are both about 15 kilograms each so you're going to be picking up about 60-65 kilos with the batteries in there so if we take them out it's only about 10-15 kilos of the kit so for that we need that. The 10 to get these bolts out. Okay. okay, so there are one, one, two, three, four, five, six, and also one screw on this side, one screw this side, and the same other side as well. You need to get those out and move those out like that with a screwdriver. You use Phillips, Phillips screw, screwdriver to get these screws out. They're not in there at the moment, I've taken them out already so it's a bit quicker. 
Okay, um, so this just comes off. Battery cover, cables. So here are batteries. Everything's still connected up, so let's start disconnecting things. To first thing we want to do is disconnect the high voltage cables. As we know, the high voltage is off, so we're safe there. We can remove these. Okay, pull that free. Okay, next connection, converter, switch. To remove the batteries, we need to take off these cables and the BMS. Um, important thing to do before working on the BMS is to switch it off. You can see the BMS light is on at the moment, so let's switch the BMS off. And then we're safe to remove the cables from the BMS and the batteries. Sorry. Left and right. And left and right. Press down on this clip here to pull it out, the securing clip. So those are your BMS cables. So these batteries are now ready to be lifted out. They have their own handles. Okay, so now the kit can be lifted out. Oh, power cable. Okay, so that's the kit out. So now you can see the space. So I think the last cable I forgot was the, uh, the power charger cable on the side. But no biggie, it's quite long. Um, the jack I keep inside the car in a bag um, because it's a little raised and it won't fit with the kit in there, but you have access to your spare. So that's it, that's uh, how to get the kit in and out with one person.